This is Floss TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to another interesting episode of Tea Time, as we analyze the biggest entertainment stories and bring you lifestyle conversations. My name is Ossie Godwin, and I have my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olu It's good. Hello. It's good. How's it going? Fine, thank you. <laughs> It's just amazing the things that happen behind, behind the scenes. scenes. Well, yeah, we're, we're put together for you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you should make an episode where it's just backstage of mm -hmm. banter mm -hmm. that they show. Okay. But well, you know we have a lot of that. We do actually. It's just to go back and cut. Some. Gather everything. But guess Let's what? Mm. When that happens, you all be casted. If it, really? Mm -hmm. I will be safe. Elsie will be safe. <laughs> It's you we are worried about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start with um, Ghana. As a um, Ghanaian Afro pop, Afro dance hall musician Stoneboy has made it to um, Billboard's charts for the second time. This time he entered the chart with his single Nominate, which features um, American singer Kerry Hilson, and um, it's speaking at number 19. The Billboard chart tabulates the relative, the relative weekly popularity of singles or albums in the United States and elsewhere. Mm. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to Congratulations. him. Stumbo has been Stumbo. in the news, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Back to back. Mm -hmm. mm. And he's been there for a while, but I feel like this recent times, maybe like the, this year, ending of last year. I think he's making a PR effort. Hmm. Yeah, and it's, it's good. Wood. It's good. And I think this is something that um, a lot of artists need to do now, especially now that you know that um, your most of your source of income is going to be streaming. So yeah. you have to be in the minds of people for them to remember mm. to stream your songs because there are yeah. so many songs to stream. Yeah. And I've noticed that for me personally, when um, an artist is trending or we even you get to, dis to check them out. when we get to discuss them on tea time, I go back if that's if I love your music anyway. Mm. I go back to check and relieve um, the memories that come to your music. Yeah, yeah. So this is the time for um, musicians to actually do a lot of subtle PR for themselves. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, shout out to him for also bringing out Ghana on the platform. I remember we talked about how we really felt like Sarkodie. I think now you can't say it's just Sarkodie anymore and seeing people, you know, put Africa on a global scale. Ghana, to be precise, we'll on this Africa. one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but I also want to say, I think it's the same thing for Kerry Hilson as well. Kerry Hilson has been behind the scenes for a long time. I think the last time she was in the news was when, I don't know if you remember, that the, st the stadium was empty and they had like about 12 people in the concert. We talked about it on the table. Wow. Do you remember? Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, so it's good that she has a music that's doing very well. So I think they both really... So um, Shatawale has helped carry her <laughs> career. Is that well, or uh, both. I, I mean, think, I think they Boy both... has helped. What am I Stone Boy, yeah. yeah. I think they both helped each other in this particular. Mm -hmm. I think it was a very good... Tra if it's PR, like you want to like call it, which makes sense, then I think that PR really worked for both of them. I haven't actually heard the song, but um, <laughs> I'm going to listen. <laughs> Try it. I listened to the song and I like it. Carrie since vocals were on point and she spoke spoke a bit of a um, tree in that and mm. I think that or is it Ga or does Dumb Boy speak? It's a Ghanaian language. I think that's that's really that's good and that's like um what's making it global, taking the Ghanaian music to the global stage. And this is the second time his album, um it's Tales of Mama or something was also number 13 on the world billboard charts as well i think that was in 2019 or 20, 2017 i guess and um, with this so stoneboy is actually doing a lot so in as much as we still say that we have just a three s in ghana but we she, he's know, part of the s mm -hmm. yeah that's what i'm saying that um, we know what the real s's are uh -uh. <laughs> if, I, if I say it again and listen to yourself again, we'll give you time. Say it again. I, listen to you, it so again. When I say that, I mean um, a lot of people tend to put it all on Sarko there, but they are right. utterly ignoring what Stone Boy is also so doing. But you just Boy admitted that we have the three. We have three S. Mm. I but said we know the what the S. real one. So who is the real S? S? You guys just want to make me go viral. That, Don't worry. You, I'm talking about the real <laughs> one to me. I prefer so Stone Boy the amongst the three S's. Oh, you prefer yeah, that's Stone my personal you, S. Stoneboy over Sakodje. Of course. Wow. <laughs> okay. Mm. Like you said, let's just move on in peace. Like I said, mm. you said. Chrissy Tegan makes um, social media comeback after living in the heat of Alison Roman um, feud. 
Um, she acknowledges Alison's apology, but insists she has she does not need um, to say sorry. In a four-part tweet, she said, and I quote, to be clear, it um, never once crossed my mind for you to apologize for what you genuinely thought. The comment stung, but it also stung because they came from you. Um, it wasn't my usual news break of some random person hating everything about me. I don't agree with the pylon. Um, people waiting with bated breath for apologies, deciding if that apology is good. The people who say you were right and never needed to in the first place. There are so many different types in this kind of situation. And to be very honest, I just want to... I just want it to be over. I think we are alike in so many ways. Yeah, she went on and on, and I think... Um, this is amazing. Yeah. For me. There's Why do you guys something think it's about amazing? how her it's mind so works. High, yeah. There's something about how her mind works that you you don't you can't predict it. Yeah. Even when you know yeah, she has this matured angle to things, you still she still brings a level to it every time anything happens. And I mean I, I um I like that the other lady came out to apologize. And like she said, I think I was the one on this table who said was that an apology. Yeah. Mm. We are a lot on this table and we've had our opinions, we've taken our sides, we feel this is this and that. But she's now telling you that it's it's more personal than that and it's also a, a growth for people. Mm. And she's hoping that Alison will grow to a point where she understands what she has done. I think that's what one, I one thing I can take from it is that she was still very honest about her feelings. Like it's very easy to play the bigger person and it sounds very gimmicky. Like it sounds like a cliche. Like I'm just gonna be the better person and go. Like she still poured a lot of honesty into it. She still called her out and said the comment wasn't a problem, it was coming from you. She still kind of like chastised that. But at the same time she was still real to say you're allowed to say whatever you want to say and you don't have to apologize for that. And that's something that she stands for because that's how um Chrissy is. So it, it was pheno like phenomenal it was apology. Amazing. I wouldn't have I don't even I don't think I would say that. Um, but <laughs> I'm glad that she actually like revealed that because a lot of people um, I think need to see what a palatable way of fighting amongst women looks like because a lot of the time they downgrade us into like um, cat fights and like very it's very messy and it's over little things and then you say you know you're not supporting each other but this kind of takes it deeper and it gives us a, an insight on how this impact goes. I think I have to also give credit to Alison for the first time because I liked how I've, I've always been on this table shouting about how you need to acknowledge your, your privilege and I like that she put that in there because she said um, that she is riding on, on white privilege. She will forever benefit from that and she knows that, that, that that's her, her life. So she needs to even be more careful about how she uses that privilege and everything. And she was apologetic about the, you know, the um, banter and everything. So both of them, actually, the way they're um, doing all this, I still want to be able to see what the future would look like away from Twitter for both relationships. And like I said, because I'm saying that is why I still think this was clout chasing from the beginning, because we wouldn't, I wouldn't have known who this white privileged girl is anyway, despite mm. this argument. Mm -hmm. Apart from being the bigger person, I, in my opinion, this is total knockout for Alison Roman because she said it so proper. Like she said it like you can't even her. your little yeah. girl, just calm down. You would understand. I've been there. I've done <laughs> that. Mm -hmm. I couldn't Let me teach do you this. Let me things. show you. That's like mm -hmm. she, she pulled an MI vector thing on. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, right now, like this was really spectacular man when i read it i was like wow, wow. who talks like this mm -hmm. like so calm so well written like she had a writer's she, room to it's write it's clear that she had time to think yeah. Yeah. she took out that time to think about the situation and i like the outcome i mean i, I can't stop loving her mind and how it yeah. works i don't mm. know how personally but what we see and but how yeah. she handles situation is just amazing yeah i think yeah. the only time i've ever had the reason not to support her stance is well, the when pregnancy the, yeah, thing. yeah i would Trump, Trump and uh, I, I think she doesn't just like Trump. Trump. Americans are very touchy <laughs> when it comes to Trump. Yeah, so um, kudos to her. Yeah, yeah. definitely. All right, it's time for a quick break, but when we come back, we definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. I can still make music 
and people are still by. Some say they look myself minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. Like I got DM sometimes from <laughs> Malaw we like. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Jennifer Lewis wants other women to learn from her $50,000 romance scam experience. Um, she said the gym manager whom she dated for three months um, was charming and very handsome. He had graduated from Oxford University. Um, quote, he said he had been in the Navy sales. I'm thinking, my God, God sent the man. Um, quote, admitting that their relationship was a romance scam. She said she thought she was investing in a dream. Mm -hmm. mm. Just sprinkle. What's the name of that movie? Blackish. No, Which one? Tyler Perry's movie. Uh, um, Fall from Grace. Fall from, from Grace. That's a fall from ah, grace. No, that fall from grace is that no. <laughs> it's deep, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that fall, eh? But it, uh, this one is just like falling from back on it. Like you're fine. Mm. This is still the idea of like an older. But the guy um, has been arrested though. He's yeah, been frustrated yeah. That's so. why I, I, I felt the thought of um, um, fall from grace because it's usually like the older lady um, mm. with the younger man and you know the gym instructor. You can imagine she didn't need to explain. After gym instructor, uh, I said mm, okay, <laughs> it's okay. Get it. And then when when she's saying um when he's Saying all these squats is holding the hips nicely. I can't imagine. Go I down, can. go down. To be honest with you guys, when I was reading this story, <laughs> I was waiting for a Nigerian prince. I don't know. I'm happy. Why. I'm, I mean, I'm legit happy that this did not end with a. Uh, um, from Africa. was from Africa, Africa. or even ah. Nigeria. Like, I was really hoping while I started with this story. Like, because it makes it look like um, this whole fraud thing. It's synonymous. Actually, synonymous. when you call it Yahoo, Yahoo. Yeah. See, it is not a Nigerian thing. We are not even number one on yeah. the list. Yeah. America themselves are number one on that list. And so you know, Yahoo, Yahoo in Nigeria so cannot function without Yahoo, Yahoo in America because ah. a lot of that trade is actually with them. Not that, I mean, Yahoo person. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're just saying. saying it's a global problem. Yes. Let's not make it an African thing. Yeah, but it's, it's, um, it's very... It's very sad when this kind of thing happens. I mean, this one, money is involved, so it's a little more, I guess you can treat it like a legal matter, but um, I think the, the, the idea of, of a heartbreak and betrayal, it, it stings really deeply on, on a lot of levels. I think this one just gets things more because it's like a, a splash of stupidity in it that like, ah, I was actually like fooled by a younger person and they usually are put together like Oxford, like who would have thought? That's what people are praying for and every day. Sometimes I just really think that we're just lucky. If you haven't been in that situation, it's not because you were smarter or you're judging characters better. You were just lucky not to come into the hands of like I kind of feel some these people, people. Uh, um, um, get some certifications or go through school to properly arrange their CV or sp of being Yoruba demon. Now, Yoruba, I've said, said this over and over again, it's not a tribe thing again. Yoruba mm. is no longer about Nigeria. Yeah. It's a worldwide thing. So maybe they try to make sure, I have to look this good. I have to. Yeah. But how are we sure he really has all the certification she told him he exactly. has? Exactly. Well, they're still investigating, isn't mm. it, are we? I think he's been prosecuted. Already? Yeah, he pled guilty on, yeah. on the 8th. Yeah, I would like to know more so. details about <clears throat> that. Um, it, it, sometimes I always sit here and say that Tyler Perry is too extra, but his stories are real life and it actually happens i can't imagine what it was like me meeting like them meeting up together knowing that you mm. know yeah scam you know she's not the only one the three other women and they scammed them over up to four hundred thousand dollars so um yes yeah, so the guy is it's an hustle for, it's a hustle for him in in its case but i think this just shows that all the glitters is not gold so you meet this guy he comes up with a sweet story and all of that just try to do your background check because she actually sued the gym as well mm. for not doing their investigation on who they employed so i think it's it goes a long way to tell women that when you're getting in a relationship get to know your person okay but can we or when can the we... guy is a spark <laughs> we should be careful right can we even or, or when it looks tables. too good to be true can we shake the tables a little bit and also say that women also do this do you think that this is catfish well, no, it's, not it's not really catfish. The guy is completely Yeah, he's real. <laughs> but do you think that women also either like play hypergamy so they act like they're in a bigger... The, the, another movie that... Yeah, I think, they I act think like, most no, no, they, they, they act like they're in a, in a higher class, right? Like they so pose they like can, a first class lady or whatever. I'm a so rich they can lady. Catch a guy and then they catch standard. a guy with the same standard. But they're not going to take the guy's money to run away. I mean, if the guy is bringing out the money, they will be there. Okay, so <laughs> do you, you don't think that women... So it's not like they're running away from it when they get what they want. They get it forever 
Well, if it's, it might start out. The but yeah, Asista Madams, 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 Madams is like that. that. Mm -hmm. The story of Asista Madams is like especially that. Especially when you're going it's for a married package. man. Package. Especially when you're going for a married man uh -huh. that you know that. that, you know that, that huh? We don't know. I know, I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> I was just talking generally. I just say. I'm talking about, especially when you're going for a married man that you know there's no future here, but yeah. you're just letting the guy spend his money, yeah. spend his money, mm -hmm. and all of that. So See, that's an issue too. Why is the guy spending his money when he knows there's no future? What is he looking for there? <laughs> Please let's move on to something else so that we'll say what we are not supposed to say. Why are you defending this? <clears throat> so, Olamide says, just be thankful for your position because there are some people um, that are happier with less. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward and quite strong. Stating the obvious. Mm, mm. I think the only thing I would say is that there's a difference between being complacent and being content. I mm. have to put those two things. It's good to be content where you are no matter what. Like even when I'm in places in my life that I know, oh, if I, this has to be temporary, I still have to try and strive for contentment in that situation because that's really what, the only what, um, time I could be happy in the present. But I don't want to then get complacent in that position because I'm content. So mm. I think that's the only thing that I would want to add. To, 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 yes. That's the only thing I want to add to that. Obviously, um, there are people with less, you feel like yours is the worst, but when you look at other people, you find out that you're actually very privileged mm. to even be where you are. So I think mm. one thing that should be constant um, with all of us mm. is always be thankful, be grateful for what you have, be, always look back and reflect on how far you've come. And that way, that's the only way to move forward, if you ask me. Mm, and also acknowledge your privileges, mm -hmm. no matter how small you mm. think they are, how big. It is a big deal for some people. Um, I mean, when he, he said, when I read the tweet, it was self-explanatory, but I felt it's also nice for people to read it and take a moment to think about it because this period has actually uh, <coughs> made a lot of people. Sorry, about is that that. Rona? God forbid. <laughs> has made a lot of people focus more on the negatives than the positives, and for some, a good number of people have as well tried to count their blessings to mm -hmm. stay. Um, happy but um, i think happiness is a decision regardless whether there's food on your table mm. or you now have to do one mm. one or oh, oh, one oh, how do they call it um, one -on -one? Uh, when you have, so, you have to be true. so when you know you have breakfast or when you ration your food you have breakfast you miss lunch you have dinner mm. one oh one okay mm. wow. what about oh oh one Ah. It's, it happens. It happens. <laughs> it happens. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes people are not that yeah. table because, but because no of business. Because of work. Yeah, no time. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I will also say that it's, it isn't it like gratitude for me something I would like to explore. I don't think I do it very deliberately. Like, oh, I want to be grateful today because every time I, I watch movies about or, or documentaries about people who either have a very near death experience or like for cancer or something, they don't talk about anything else but gratitude, like mm. be happy for what you have, be happy for what you have. And I think because we're so fast age, like you just said, where we even do the zero zero one because we can't like take a minute to like sit down. It's so easy to like forget, forget. the things that are important. Um, I, I think Corona period has also helped um, bring that gratitude spirit back up globally okay. now like okay um, what am i thankful for because a lot of things have been stripped away um and things that i didn't even think okay were something i should be grateful for that i'm now grateful for now mm. yeah okay so um finally let's touch on toby bakri who says he gets upset when people call him the yoruba demon i don't know i think he was being sarcastic as well because he shared the picture i was like but when he looked at the picture then Maybe. But I want uh, what, what I wanted to bring in is the is the verb because I'll say it's a verb now. It's it like is, an action. It's, like, it's, 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 not, it's, it's not a track <laughs> thing anymore. You suffered. Um, so this the way you guys objectify us. This uh, objectify. Now we're we're actually making your movement global. <laughs> like oh really? I wanted to ask you if uh, that when you hear the word Yoruba demon, is this Some a, people are owning it though. Yeah, is this a compliment I know when I hear Yoruba you demon, I find it complimentary. Tree. Like, oh, oh that means I'm looking good whenever you oh, call it's me. Oh, about looking good. Yeah, because okay, so Yoruba demons are always you known to, yeah, to, yeah. to own, not okay. the ad break part, obviously. Which, uh, um, a lot of people are doing know. that as well. You see them wear the whole Asher thing. Sorry, Corona is not aligning us enough of that these days. But you see them looking really good, you know, with the whole... In fact, sometimes you post a picture and you tag it yourself, you're about demon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, when, I think that's the part that a lot of people are owning. Mm. They are forgetting or deciding to yeah. ignore the whole 
heartbreak, infidelity, money, yeah. promising marriage. I don't think our married. parents' generation <laughs> would like this verb, Sha. Like, I can't imagine seeing your body money in front of my mom and she'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, how will you call yourself a demon? Yeah, you're in jail. Yeah, some people are also tilting towards that as well. Yeah. We'll see you by angel. But uh, um, I think it's his reaction, being unhappy or happy, it's, mm. it's his decision. I mean, he can decide to. Mm. And there are things that you think are very small. But when you say it to somebody else, it triggers them and that's based why, on experience. As that's well. why I was going to ask you, Fair, because I know that there are, there are comments that, no, I, that women what, receive that I think are generally acceptable, but I still find them very condescending yeah. and I don't appreciate. But I don't, I'm not a man and I'm not, I don't really, no one has called me Yoruba Demo, so I don't know how it sits for other people. I'm guessing from your no, response, no, you, no, you can claim to, yeah, like, aspect, like the N word, you can claim how you want to use it, but. If I just look at it from like a shallow perspective, I don't think I want to be calling anyone like a Yoruba demon. I'm don't not you really have friends sure. To call Yoruba I think I think first of all, Yoruba is already too restrictive. Like there's a lot of people who package and to whatever verb associated to that that you can give other names. But I'm, I know it's from Lagos and Yoruba. Lagos is now a global movement. Yes, yes. Mm. Mm. Um, okay. Basically, I just feel like um, it's what works for you. If you feel like the Yoruba demon thing, you don't like the context in which it's being used for you, you right. can address context. that. But if it's a context that you know work for you, maybe you have on your, you know, you're getting ready mm. for a wedding and you step out and your boys are like, ah, ah, all your girls How are like your are you bad demon. You bad demon in a year? Who, me? Mm. I think that would be every day of my life if I really wow. go to everywhere I go to. That would look good. Nah, man. Nah, man. Thank you, lady. Who called you about him when yesterday? Mm. Who called me? Let's yeah. start with yesterday. Because you said every day of No, I'm saying, I'm saying if I go to the places where I should be called to Europe, but demon like places the places that, that I'm really like, appreciating. Like, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so we don't appreciate like, it. Like, 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 like the places out, where yeah. I'm, I'm a trending topic, hot topic, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Right, right here. Nah, let's, let's, let's forget that. Time up. Mm. Let's go. <laughs> okay. I see you. I see mm. you looking. Thank you for I watching. You. And join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch Tea Time on IOT TV and in London on Ben Television. My shout out, as always, to go to my co anchors, Ife Oluo Shunke, and the entire production team. And talking about the production team, today is Jimmy's birthday he's part of our production team so happy, happy birthday, birthday, birthday we love you happy birthday to happy you. birthday jimmy yeah. we're happy going to go on socially distantly party yeah we, we, we're going to do something and yeah. this, are you listening please come for us <laughs> my name is elsie godwin do stay home stay safe and enjoy your day